What's going on YouTube? Clover Bells here, back with another Series 11 team building video, and this time we're going to look at a Zacian Dragonite team. So it's been a while since we've had a uh, team building video. We've done a lot of team fixing. We've done, um, you know, team, uh, just overall team videos, uh, stuff that we've made rental codes for, uh, but we haven't done team building in a while, and I like to do them towards the end of a month, uh, because this way, when we start the next month, uh, we can release the new set of rental codes and then you guys will understand how we created those rental codes from scratch and what was the thought process going behind it. So uh, the one we're going to do look at today is a Zacian Dragonite team and before I even say anything, uh, this was something I came across um, another user uh, and that user's name is uh, IceBullet67 all right and they had a Zacian Dragonite team and when I looked at it I said you know what this is exactly how I would run it and uh, we're gonna recreate that team today uh, but we're gonna use the same six all right but we're gonna adjust the sets the EVs and the moves just a little bit uh, just to something that I think is a, a little more optimal or just how I like to play it. But again, the original idea uh, of this team is largely inspired by Ice Bullet 67. I will put their credentials in the video uh, description below. But uh, this is what Ice Bullet 67 had in mind. So they had Zacian Dragonite. Okay, then from here, they also had Blastoise. Okay, G Max Blastoise. So Again, it was basically a Zacian Blastoise team, but it also had Dragonite on it, okay? Um, and you might think, well, why Dragonite? Well, if you look at what Dragonite can do, uh, yes, there's there was always that Aqua Jet set on Colossal teams, but Dragonite does very well against a lot of common meta threats. Like, uh, it can handle Rillaboom because you got uh, a flying move like Dual Wing Beat, okay? Uh, and... We are going to be life for, by the way. <laughs> I just want to restate that. Uh, you, you can do stuff against Incineroar uh, with superpower. Okay. And uh, then you can have uh, a nice hard hitting move um, that can, you know, always go first no matter what. Extreme speed, you know, life orb, extreme speed, Dragonite hits like a truck. And then finally, um, the last move here, you can go for something like Dragon Dance or you can go with the Dragon Stab. But I like Dragon Dance here uh, just so that we can make it more of an offensive threat uh, later on. And we can support it by, by setting it up with not Redirection, although Redirection would be great. Um, we can support it with Fake Out users. So this way, you know, especially after Blastoise residual damage, when things uh, get knocked out by those residuals, or if you click Fake Out, you can set up your Dragon Dance relatively easily. Um, and so that was what Ice Bullet 67 came came up with, and I like that idea. Um, but they had a different set on the Dragonite here. I believe they had um, Stone Edge instead of Extreme Speed, but I liked Extreme Speed, so we rotated uh, the Stone Edge out for Extreme Speed. Okay, but then from here, um, to support the Blastoise, they had Raichu over here. Okay, so there wasn't a Wakan Berry on the Blastoise. Uh, instead, it was a Weakness Policy set. Okay, and the Raichu had a Focus Sash set. All right, and obviously, uh, it was Lightning Rod. Okay, so the Raichu has a dual purpose here. Uh, you can you support the Blastoise by having Lightning Rod. All right, so this way you can redirect any of those annoying electric attacks. Uh, and then at the same time, if you have a Volt Switch and you Dynamax, or in this case, Gigantamax your Blastoise, you can activate your weakness policy that way and have your Blastoise deal immense damage, okay? So that was a good uh, core right there with the Blastoise and the Raichu uh, for the Zacian Dragonite. And then from here, you just had the Fake Out Boys. Uh, you had Incineroar. Uh, with in, for intimidate and fake out support and then finally Rillaboom, you know, just to have uh, Something a little bit more for the the Kyogre matchup, right? So this was the six Zacian, Dragonite, Blastoise, Raichu, Ensign, and Rillaboom Okay, so I really like that six that um, Ice Bullet 67 came up with and now what we're gonna do is we're going to Hash out the EVs the items and the movesets Okay, so now let's just take a look at how we're gonna do the EVs uh, for Zation first, uh, and also the moveset. So basically, of course, we're gonna go with Behemoth Blade here. Um, now here, you can, with your Fighting Stab, you can go Close Combat, or you can go with something like Sacred Sword. Um, I think both of them are fine. I think I'm gonna lean towards Sacred Sword in this 
uh, type of team, uh, just because Dynamax format with uh, max steel spikes uh, and you know opponents going for defense boost. Uh, if you can go with Sacred Sword, you can ignore those defense boosts. So uh, I think that's a little bit more favorable here. Uh, Substitute is also pretty good. Uh, just so that you can stall out potential tailwinds and trick rooms and then of course alternate it with protects and uh, that's how you exactly you would stall potential tailwinds and trick rooms right go for substitute first then alternate your protect um, and then you know you can burn two or three turns of both of those uh, relatively easily okay now from here um, with the EVs, I think what we want to do is uh, also go adamant. Ice, Ice Bullet 67 also went adamant, uh, but he went up to the second bump with 156 uh, intact investment. I think that's a little too much for Zacian. Uh, I, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's still very, very good. Uh, but I'm going to go a little bit less here. Uh, because to me, 220 is already good enough for Zacian at plus one. And instead, we're going to go with a little bit more speed and still have some bulk. All right. So in terms of speed, uh, I just want to be faster than Cinderace, right? So I'm just going to invest all the way up to 190 here, and this will be um, enough to outspeed Cinderace in the meta, which is also very prominent in, in the Dynamax format. Now from here, the rest we can just uh, put it into our bulk, right? We still have 260 EVs left. Uh, so what I want to do is I'm just going to invest all the way up to. 191 here, which is a 188 investment, and again, this is going to optimize uh, this uh, the hail chip, you know, from you know max hailstorm that we're gonna set with Blastoise, or if the opponent sets it for us, uh, because again, when we optimize our HP, uh, 191 divided by 16 is going to be 11.9375. And in Pokemon, it rounds down. So 11.9 rounds down to 11. So you're only going to take 11 damage per turn from your weather damage. All right, from the hail chip. All right, and then from here, uh, we just have a bunch of defense and special defenses left over. Uh, so very calmly, you can just do uh, just a little bit even up here. Uh, something like this. And honestly, we can just put the rest in the attack set. So this way we still hit as hard as a Jolly Zation, right? So that's still okay. So this is our Zation spread. Again, optimized for weather, meant to outspeed Cinderace, and still hit uh, hard, right? With some bulk investment. All right. So that's our Zation. Dragonite here. Uh, so Dragonite, we're just going to, once again, uh, invest in speed uh, first before we do anything else. Uh, we are going to go adamant though. Uh, just like our Zacian, we are going to go Adamant here. And what I would like to do is go up to about 220, almost max, right? So 128 speed, right? And the reason why we're doing this is uh, if you do um, another quick calc, uh, if you go to 127, 127 times 1.5 is going to go to 190, right? And again, you're going to outspeed Cinderace. However, uh, if we go for a max airstream, we're going to end up speed tying our Zacian, right? So what we want to do is go one point faster. So this way we don't end up speed tying our Zacian. So we're going to go to 128, all right? So we'll be faster than Zacian uh, with this investment. And then from here, Honestly, uh, we'll just optimize our life orb chip, which is just about 20 HP investment, max the attack stat. All right, and then here you just have uh, leftover EVs in defense and special defense. All right, and there's a reason why we max the attack as opposed to going to like a third bump. Uh, it's because of superpower, because uh, what we want to do is almost guarantee that with superpower we can Oko. Uh, those careful incineroars and i'll show you that damage calc uh, in a second when we go to the damage calc section of the video um but yeah that's that's what we want there uh with our dragonite so uh good dragonite spread here now on to blastoise so again with blastoise uh we are going to go a, a modest set here i think modest is uh, correct when we have a weakness policy zap uh blastoise i almost said zapdos um at the very least uh, let's go to 108 investment and this will go to 112 all right so 112 again is a very important benchmark in VGC because 112 uh, times 1.5 after an airstream boost or after a speed reduction you're faster than base 100s so you'll be faster than an opposing Charizard for example all right and then also if you get another airstream boost uh, when you're at plus two, you're faster than Calyrex Shadows. So that's also pretty good 
uh, to have on hand with your Blastoise speed tier. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to invest um, just up to the third bump here. I believe that's 143. So you see how we go from 141, then one more investment. Now you're at 143. So you skipped 142. And again, this is what we call an EV bump. And every time I do a team fixing video or a team building video, you know, I always stress about EV bumps. And again, if you are someone that doesn't know what an EV bump is, comment in the video below and I will explain it to you. I feel like I do it at least once per team building or team fixing video. It's okay. You know, that is my job. It is to explain these VGC fundamentals uh, to you guys. All right. So we'll go to the third EV bump here with 196 investment. And then from here, we're just going to optimize our HP uh, for the, again, the hail damage, 164. And then from here, we'll just even out um, our defense and special defense. You see, we have 40 EVs left. Uh, to play with so 2020 this is what we want and now from here in terms of move sets hydro cannon of course is what we want this is what's going to give us g max cannonade all right and then from here icy wind i think uh is is a good move now you might say why would you use icy wind as opposed to something like blizzard or maybe even ice beam just because it's a little bit more consistent uh the reason why you want icy wind is just to have a little bit more speed control on the team and just so that you can use blastoise outside of dynamax uh not that you can't use blizzard or ice beam outside of dynamax but at the very least you have that icy wind speed control option should you need it and it's going to help your yourization and dragonite in the end game or even in the mid game as well all right, and then I like to go Yawn here. So Yawn's pretty good. You can punish those early Dynamax options uh, with Yawn, uh, especially if you know they're going to max. And then lastly, uh, just Protect. Uh, you know, it's VGC. Protect is always good. It's always safe. All right, Raichu here. Of course, we have Volt Switch. Uh, this is our pivoting move. This is also what's going to proc our weakness policy on the Blastoise. Um, I think, you know, you, you got to have Fake Out on this thing. Uh, this is, this is uh, also why people like Raichu. It's a fast fake out user. You're faster than opposing instants and Rillabooms. All right. And then the most annoying move in the game, <laughs> Nuzzle, right? So you, you cut their speed in half and then you, you paralyze them. So now you have the power hacks that could potentially come into play. Uh, so another form of speed control uh, coming from Raichu here. And now here you can run Protect. Uh, that's always good, uh, especially if you have a Sash. Um, but I also like Eerie Impulse. Just so that, again, you can punish, again, a potential Dynamax like a Dialga or another special attacker and then just go for Eerie Impulse. So it's always pretty good to have uh, on hand from a Raichu. And then from here, honestly, you just go 252-252. So just Timid, max speed, max HP, and that's really all you need. And, you know, just put the last point in special attack just, just for, you know, a little bit of extra bonus for your Volt Switch. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much all you need out of your Raichu. Insign, so I like safety goggles. Uh, you can more than happily go with citrus berry, uh, but you know I, I just ha I just want a little bit of security against the sun matchup. You know, just against Venusaur, sleep powder shenanigans. So I like safety goggles in Cinnabar, and again with me, uh, I'm gonna go with careful nature, uh, just to resist those special attacks just a tiny bit. All right, and we're gonna go first bump in the special defense department in careful nature. Uh, I always like a fast instant, so I like to go about 116 speed, which gives me 95. Uh, this way, you know, I can be faster than a lot of those Laprases out there and go for parting shot. Um, and even in Trick Room games where, like, the opponent has Trick Room, my parting shot uh, goes last because they'll be the slower instant. So, you know, I always like to go uh, in terms of this route. And then from here, just 236 investment uh, in the HP department, a nice even number. Or attack. Uh, oh, this is uh, the IVs are a little off here. And then the last bit in uh, defense. And again, with this defense investment, uh, you're able to live a close combat from a Zacian after an Intimidate, which brings it to neutral. Okay. So overall, now uh, yeah. And then our move set for instant is relatively standard. Flare Blitz is what we want, of course. Uh, fake out. All right. And then parting shot. And then our dark move, uh, Throat Chop, is good this way so you can stop opposing instants for going for their own uh, parting shot. And of course, you get that dark move against Calyrex Shadow. You got to have a dark move against Calyrex Shadow in this kind of meta. All right, so that th there's that. And then, of course, last but not least, we got Rillaboom here. Again, secondary fake out user. 
we're gonna go miracle seed here um but yeah fake out um actually let's go grassy glide first grassy glide uh fake out um and the move that i've been using a lot is uh drum beating <laughs> just for again another move for speed control and then finally protect in the last slot here and we'll just use the same Rillaboom Spoon that we've always been using. Uh, we're going to go Adamant Nature, max this attack, uh, go to a 132 investment, which brings your HP number to 192. And again, 192 divided by 16 is a perfect 12. So in grassy terrain, you get a perfect 12 recovery per turn, right? That's the reason for that investment. And then from here, we're just going to go 115 speed. And then the last bit in um, Spit Def. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, so I think we just did all of them. Y yes, we did. All right. So let's just take a look at this paste over here. So yeah, um, that's our initial trial with Zacian and Dragonite. Again, um, we, you know, we got three fake out users <laughs> as if we didn't have enough fake out. I could have put, I could have made it four by putting fake out on Blastoise, but I think Protect is just a little bit better. Um, but yeah, again, with, with Dragonite, you, you got some answers to a lot of things in the meta, and Raichu Blastoise is also an underrated combo here, and then Zacian just comes in the back and cleans up, and then you still have your own fake out boys with Instant and Rillaboom, so uh, let's just go take a look at a few damage calcs, and then let's just go test it out in um, some battles. Okay, so uh, before we show any of the damage calcs, again, uh, let's just reveal all the gifs here. So again, we've got Rillaboom and Incineroar. Um, and of course the Blastoise and the Raichu. Okay, so now let's take a look at some damage calcs with uh, the Zacian spread that we have here. So again, we know that well, we're, we're meant to outspeed Cinderace. We have a little bit of optimized uh, HP bulk uh, for weather. Um, but how do we do against stuff like Landorus uh, and Incin, right? So Landorus, let's go with a standard Landorus set here. Um, let me just bring that up here. All right, so standard Lando. So Max Quake obviously will kill it, but again, uh, if we can pivot our instant safely and just bring it to minus one, uh, now the Max Quake uh, will not KO the Zacian. And then you just KO right back with the Behemoth Blade. All right, so again, that is the reason also why we have uh, this much bulk investment, uh, just to be able to live that Max Quake. All right, so, uh, and if this happened to be like Life Orb Landor, all right, so let's just put Life Orb here. And um, now that could kill, still kill Zacian, all right? But uh, again, with the... Intimidate, uh, it's still a relatively favorable role. All right, now, um, what about like stuff like Groudon, um, Citrus Groudon, where they just go first bump Adamant. Again, same idea, uh, just Intimidate it. And uh, now the, the Max Quake also will not kill uh, our Zacian. Again, we are first bump, uh, the, the first bump Groudon, which is 76 attack investment. All right, and you know, most instants, they, they can't really kill unless they're adamant 116. So if they're just goggles, right, um, you know, if he just goes for Flare Blitz, you're, it'll, of course, deal a lot. But it's not going to kill uh, our Zacian with uh, this bulk investment. So relatively safe there. Uh, but yeah, those are the big ones. The Groudon, the, the Landorus, and of course, the Ensign. Um, and then, you know, just going from there, you know, just being able to set up, you know, even just clicking like Substitute or just be able to take that attack or even protect if you want. Uh, but at least you know you can guarantee live uh, those moves uh, after an Intimidate spam. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so now let's take a look at uh, Dragonite here. So again, this is what I was referring to uh, with the superpower. So again, we, we bumped it up to 252. Um, Ice Bullet 67, he added, I believe at 202, um, which is a pretty good chance against like a normal instant spread, like assuming they were like first bump, careful nature, and with defense investment uh, against Zacian, like uh, the one I have over here on the side, uh, you know, 75% chance is good, but you know, not good enough sometimes. Uh, so if we just uh, invest all the attack and take a little bit off the HP, and now we're just guaranteed to kill those those type of incineroars so i think it's very important because if you can remove incineroar uh from the game then your zation comes in from the back without too much worry from intimidate spam or flare blitz pressure so i think uh doing that for drag having that kind of investment for dragonite is worth it and of course you know stuff like rillaboom you know you just take out anyway uh with you know just a uh, dual wing beat can just one shot it you know venusaur doesn't stand a chance against dual wing beat either so you know uh that's the main reason for the attack investment for dragonite all right
So let's just keep on chugging in. Okay, so this is uh, for Blastoise again. Uh, you normally would be able to count for like Regilecki, but we're accounting for the fact that we're going to bring Raichu whenever there is a Regilecki matchup. Uh, so the real, the other main threat is obviously uh, Rillaboom, you know, because they have Grassy Glide and or Wood Hammer Pressure. And uh, when we're Dynamax, the, the Grassy Glide does a lot, but not too much. And, you know, it can activate our weakness policy that way. And then we can just KO it right back uh, with a Max Hailstorm. And if you happen to also pivot your Ensign, uh, then the, the Wood Hammer obviously will not be able to KO. And then you'll be able to get your Cannonade off or even your Hailstorm off um, at plus two. So, you know, good calc to have on hand. Uh, after instant intimidate again a lot of these are after like intimidate so if you can properly position your instant okay that's the, that's the key here you know can you position your instant where like stuff like rillaboom's super effective moves are not going to do too much or as much damage uh to the blast voice as you one might think all right so let's just show one more calca with the opposing instant with our own incineroar all right, and again, this is that other instant calc that we were mentioning earlier. So our instant uh, has 236 HP along with 76 defense investment with the first bump in Spadef because we are careful nature. And again, this is a close combatization. You know it's going to kill, but after an intimidate where you bring it down to neutral, now the close combat will definitely not be able to KO it. And then you can potentially uh, kill it right back with the flare blitz. Uh, because you know it's a, it's a fire type move, but yeah, you can get you are guaranteed to live that close combat, which is the whole reason why I like to use that instant. All right, so those are some key calcs uh, for the Zacian, the Blastoise, and the Dragonite. Uh, and now you saw the instant. Uh, now let's just take a look at some sample battles where hopefully we can make use of this Zacian Blastoise Dragonite squad. Okay, so this is again someone named That Hail Guy, and he's got a Hail team, obviously, uh, with Cure White. So I can see some Blizzard spam. I can see the Sand Slash Dynamax in here. I, I mean, this is not a very scary, threatening team. I mean, I definitely don't bring Dragonite to this. <laughs> All right, but Zacian just runs through his whole team, and honestly, if I just deal my own chip damage with the Blastoise here, uh, I, I should have a very, very much an easy time here. So. All I really have to do is just lead Blastoise Instant. Uh, Instant should be able to intimidate uh, like either the the Sand Slash or the Obama Snow, and, uh, and and it should be all right. And then in the back, of course, you'll have your Zacian, and then you know I don't bring Dragonite, but I think Raichu is okay here just to have another fast fake out user, um, and then you know just Nuzzle Spam, Eerie Impulse if I need it. All right, so here we go. He goes Abomba Snow and hit him on top. All right, so then there's the Blastoise and there's my instant. So this is already a pretty good start for me because uh, these look like two physical attackers which have already been intimidated. Uh, the hit him on top has fake out, but again, that's not going to matter because I'm going to max my Blastoise here and start getting my residual damage going. Um, and even if the Abomba Snow has a grass move, uh, you know, the fact that it's intimidated is not threatening to the Blastoise and he'll just proc my policy anyway. So. Uh, here we go. We max the Blastoise. Um, he goes for the Fake Out on my instant. That's totally fine. And there's the Cannonade. Uh, I get my chip off. And there was the uh, Eject Button proc. And now his Curum comes in for free, which is interesting. And the Obama Snow just goes for Aurora Veil. So no grass move from the Obama Snow. So from here, I mean, the Curum can have Earth Power against my instant. And he can knock it out, which is fine. But then I get the free switch into Zacian. Uh, and then, you know, Blastoise can still deal more residual chip damage here. And I don't think Aurora Veil is going to help against uh, Zacian here. So, you know, um, I'm just going to try and parting shot if I can get it off. But I think he just Earth Powers it. Uh, he actually Earth Powers the Blastoise slot for some reason. Um, and again, that's going to help against the Cannonade. But, you know, that means I still get a parting shot off. And the Curum is now weak. All right, and here's the Zacian. So now let's just see how well this Aurora Veil helps out the Curum here. All right, so uh, <laughs> I mean, this is pretty much all she wrote. So there's the hit on top. So he's trying as much as he can to keep the Curum. So my Zacian is neutral. He's got the Aurora Veil. Is that going to help against this Curum? The answer is no, not from this range. So there it goes. And there's the Cannonade. And down goes the hit on top. So that's pretty much game from there. I mean, he still has two mons left, but the Obama Snow and the Sand Slash aren't very threatening because now I can just, you know, intimidate spam with my instant in the back, uh, which is all I'm going to do because he can't switch. His Sand Slash is stuck here. 
These are his only two mons left. Does go for Rock Slide. Does get the flinch, but again, not too worried here. Uh, Icy Wind, I'm already slower as it is, so that's fine. And there's my Cannonade Chip uh, taking over again. I fake out the Sand Slash just to stop him from getting the last turn of speed from the Hail. He did have a Grass move and it was special. So, I mean, that's fine because now his Hail's gone, his Aurora Veil's gone. The Sand Slash has nothing. All right, he can protect the Obama Snow if he wants, which he does, but that's not the threat. It is the Sand Slash that is the threat. And that's pretty much all she wrote. So all of this was Zacian food. This is why Hail is not so good in these kinds of games. So uh, because you just die to all these steel types. All right, so let's take a look at another one. Okay, this is actually a pretty good team, right? It's a Lugia Sun team. And I feel like if you just replace Lugia with something like Zacian, <laughs> then you have a really, really good team. Uh, but he has a Lugia Sun team. So this is a little bit scary uh, just because, you know, there is Torkoal and there's Venusaur, right? Uh, there is Grimmsnarl. And I could anticipate the Lugia having weakness policy uh, to an extent. It could be a Calm Mind leftover set. <clears throat> the Landers could be Life Orb. The Porygon has Trick Room. Uh, he's got a solid six here. It's just, you know, if you just replace Lugia with something else, I, I feel like you have a much stronger team. But um, again, Zacian does well in the back after, you know, stuff like Blastoise or even Dragonite does his thing. I think this is the game for Dragonite uh, because I have... The Airstream for Venusaur, um, you know, I've I've got Dragon Dance potential setup here. Um, I've got Superpower for the Porygon, so you know the Intimidate doesn't bother Dragonite. So I think I think Dragonite is a is a safe bring here. So there's Dragonite, there's my Raichu. Okay, so this way I could fake out a potential Venusaur if he has it. He goes with Lugia Grimmsnarl, so. Uh, he could do a lot of things. He could set up his screens. He could sucker punch his Lugia, proc the policy. I'm just going to go straight for a Dragon Dance. All right. He actually goes into Landorus, which is fine because I have Inner Focus. And he does fake out my Dragonite. So maybe predicting I have multi-scale. Um, and again, I did go for the Eerie Impulse on the Lugia, but he switched it out for Landorus. But I did go for Dragon Dance. So my Dragonite is plus one with a Life Orb. And that's already very scary, but... For some reason, uh, okay, so now I go into instant to try and, you know, intimidate it in case he goes for, like, max rockfall. All right, so this way my dragon I can live. Uh, but for some reason, this Grimmsnarl is running a trick set, and the, the Landorus is scarfed, and that means he's faster than my Dragonite. So he U-turns, <clears throat> and there goes my Dynamax for nothing. So he's playing this garbage, and here comes Zacian coming in for free. And there's the Porygon. But again, I have Instant, so I can stop the fake out and just kill the Grimmsnarl for free. Um, and that's exactly what happens. Uh, he gets the Reflect up, but again, there's the Behemoth Blade. And he sh there comes Landris. So now my Zacian, um, you know, just becomes intimidated. So I'm just going to swap out for Dragonite here. And I hope that he goes Quake into the Zacian, which he did, which is why I pivoted for Dragonite. And now my Instant can go for a Parting Shot on this Landorus. So I took a bit of a risk there. I baited him into attacking the Zacian. All right. And then my Instant can now go for Parting Shot. All right. If he went for Max Quake in my Instant, then, um, you know, he's in a better position. But he didn't do it. So now I can get my Zacian back in. Uh, and there's the try attack. That's not going to do anything. I don't know why I didn't click Trick Room. But there's another Intimidate from my instance. So now this Landorus is minus two. There is a Behemoth Blade. So that's a relatively... Um, but again, he I wouldn't say bulky Lando because he already has a Reflect Up. But that's still good damage on his Dynamax. And for some reason, he has Max Strike and he crit me. What move does he get for Max Strike? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, Instant lives this. So there's the fake out. I stop a potential trick room, but he probably wasn't going for it if he went for max airstream. And I just kill his Dynamax with a Behemoth Blade. Okay, so now he's got a Lugia and a Porygon left, and I got a Raichu. So, of course, I'm just going to go for Eerie Impulse, and that Lugia can no longer switch. And he goes for an Air Blast. You saw how little that does. There's a Sacred Sword. Ice Beam, no Freeze Hacks, and that's pretty much all she wrote. So, you know, I would have just Eerie Impulsed again and got rid of the Porygon. And yeah, from there, we would it would have been an easier game. So Dragonite did do something. All right, it was a good pivot option. It's just a shame that he's running Trick Grimmsnarl on a Sun Team. I don't know why you would run that, but he ran it. So let's take a look at uh, one more. 
Okay, so this is actually a Xerneas team. I don't know why anyone's using Xerneas in Series 11. Um, but he's got Arcanine there. He's got Urshifu. So Indidi, Xerneas is a lead. Uh, Indidi, Urshifu is a lead. Indidi, Dusclops is a lead. I don't know why he has a Dusclops here, honestly. There's no Torkoal. So I I'm curious as to what this thing is doing. I could see Shadow Sneak into Dragapult, but then, you know, I, ve I, I feel like something else is better for that. Like, you, you could do Mimikyu. All right, but I feel like the Arcanine is a little out of place. But like, why not have Torkoal if you're going to have a Dusclops? Anyway, so I feel like Blastoise does well here again. You know, just deal enough residual damage and then Zacian just comes in the back and finishes the game. Unfortunately, this is not a Dragonite game <laughs> just because there's a Xerneas and there's a Dragapult. Um, but we have um, all the tools that we need uh, to beat this support. So he actually goes Dragapult Dusclops here. So that's very interesting. So this tells me it's Shadow Sneak um, and I'm going to do my own self weakness policy proc and I'm not too scared because I have a sash unless he doubles the Raichu, right? But then he doesn't get his weakness policy proc and then I can just max hailstorm him. So uh, he Dynamaxes, which is expected. I Dynamax as well. He goes for his Shadow Sneak. All right, there's his weakness policy proc and he goes into my Blastoise. And of course, we're very thick. <laughs> so there's my Volt Switch. I deal damage to my own Blastoise. And I'm just going to go into my own Zacian here just to put some pressure. And there's the Max Hailstorm that almost kills the Dragapult. All right. And uh, this was the reason why I invested a little bit more special attack <coughs> in my Blastoise. Originally, this was like modest 116. After this game, I made it 196. So yeah. That's why I did this, because I thought this should have killed. Uh, but yeah, that's why you test. So from here, uh, honestly, yeah, he goes again and he kills my Blastoise, but that's fine because, you know, I do have residuals. I do get the subs. So I do click sub. And for some reason, he just just wipes away his uh, his own weakness policy bonuses. I don't know why he did that. But here's my Rillaboom. All right. I don't care about Trick Room. There's the Grassy Glide. And here's my Behemoth Blade. I could even I could have even glided the Dusclops there, but there's the Trick Room. But then what does he have that's you know slower that wants to outspeed Zacian? I don't know Xerneas, but there's an Indeedy. Um, but I just swap out my Rillaboom so this way I can reset terrain later. He Pain Splits my Raichu, so there goes my Sash, and he Expanding Forces my Raichu, so I sacrifice the Raichu. But then again, I just get rid of his Indeedy. All right, so now. Uh, potentially Xerneas, but he doesn't even bring Xern at all. It's actually just Urshifu. Um, and this is fine because I can just fake out and go for another substitute play. All right, just so that I can stall his Trick Room. All right, and again, uh, we're just chilling. He, he actually flips the Trick Room. I don't know why he does that. Uh, probably because uh, he was Scarf, which I found out later. But there's the Grassy Glide. There's the Shadow Sneak. There's a wicked blow, doesn't kill my Rillaboom, and now he just goes bye bye. And yeah, it was in fact Scarf Urshifu. That's why he flipped his Trick Room. So I don't know about that, but now it's just a two on one against Dusclops, and there's not much Dusclops can really do here. Um, I noticed he doesn't have Nightshade, so that's pretty much all she wrote here. And Rillaboom just cleans up in the back. See, this is why you have Rillaboom on the team. All right, so yeah, those were some interesting test battles. Um, you know, the team works fine. It works as any other Bla Blastoiseization team. So yeah, give it a go. Let's take a look at one. Let's take a look at the pace one last time. Okay, so yeah, I think this is pretty good, right? We have a Adamant Bulkization with a uh, hard-hitting Dragonite that's relatively fast. We've got three fake out users. We have some speed control options with Icy Wind, Nuzzle, and even Drum Beating. And you know, we, we have Intimidate support, uh, but overall, it does what a Zacian Blastoise team would do with a nice little twist with the Dragonite and the Raichu. I think it's a it's a fun one to try, especially in January when it's the last month of Series 11. Um, if you wanted to make this even better, you can just use Aleki here, Dragapult with Life Orb here, and then make this Blastoise Wakanberry. And then you have a Zacian Dragapult Blastoise squad that's, you know, relatively strong. But hey, if you want to use Dragonite, that's not on a Colossal team, I got it. It's right here. <laughs> so, you know, I'll make a rental code for this as one of the 
five new rentals that we always do in the beginning of the month. But yeah, let me know what you think of this Zacian Dragonite team that uh, we came up with here. But again, shout out to IceBullet67, who is the original uh, creator of this six. All we did was uh, adjust the EVs, the movesets, and the items a little bit to what we like to do. But they are the original creator of the team. Again, I will link uh, their credentials in the video description below uh, to give credit where credit is due. But yeah, we'll be back with another Series 11 team building video. Until next time, have a good one.